All right, this is Acorn Cinema in my new apartment. And we still got at least, you know, a week till another review comes out. But in the meantime, I'm going to knock out a QA. Now, I'm going to make these incredibly simple on purpose. No fancy, you know, graphics and who's he what's it's. Because these things are going to be about uh, 10 minutes each. And uh, by keeping them simple, they barely take 10 minutes to do. Any more than that, I'm going to start cutting into the quality of the actual product that you guys are interested in. Now, obviously, I can't get to everybody's questions. A lot of questions overlap as well. So I'm going to answer what I think, you know covers as many bases as possible so if you don't get picked it's okay it's not the end of the world so with that let's do this 09 wonder asks one what is your preferred current gen console two are there any upcoming games you're looking forward to three which bear is best Uh. i don't really have a preferred console i you know what matters is the software not so much the hardware um i'm not trying to be some Ultra righteous, you know, oh, that means the Wii is just as good as the PS3 in graphics. Of course it's not. Mine, a lot like yours, whenever I'm not playing something essentially Mario or Zelda or Metroid, collects a lot of dust, at least recent. But, uh, you know, I mean, when the Wii first came out, first 18 months, software on the 360 and PS3 wasn't that great, so I played it more. 18 months after that, I was probably leaning on my PS3 more. Now there's a lot of PS3 exclusives, but I've kind of been leaning on my PC, actually, so I don't know, I mean... Look, it's all about the software. Here's an example. If you haven't bought either a PS3 or 360, is there the equivalent more powerful current-gen consoles? Then what I would say to you, if you couldn't decide, is what system has the exclusives that you care the most about? Because if it's third-party, you know, unless it's a truly horrible port, it's not really going to matter what system it's on. So first-party games, especially you can't overlook the DLC, $5, 10 $2 games. That matters just as much as the $60, $50 games. So it's really all about the exclusives. And, you know, I think most of this internet fanboyism is a bunch of 13-year-olds screaming on forums. So I don't know. That's, that's my little soapbox diatribe. Number two, any games I'm looking forward to? Uh, above all, Mario Galaxy 2. I mean, I... I I've said it in the videos. I thought Mario Galaxy was one of the best games ever. One of them, like at least in the top three. So there you go. Which bear is best? The fuck? Um, your mom. Video commenter 100. How many chickens can you shoot in five minutes? How many chickens could shoot you in five minutes? I mean, this is really a ridiculous question. How many... How many chickens are there? What what kind of weapons do I have? What how much ammo? What, is this an open area where they can just run away, or am I you know in a hallway and I can just back them into a corner? I mean, you're not really giving me any ground rules here, so I don't know what you want me to say. So yeah, Daniel Denmark, who is from what I can only assume is Japan, asks, "Hi, have you ever tried the PS3 title Little Big Planet? If yes, why don't you make a review about it? That would be great." Um, I have played Little Big Planet. I fucking love Little Big Planet. Um, I'm not going to review stuff from like two years ago. I'm going to keep it within, I'd say, the last six months. If a game's launched within the last six months, I'll do it. I've broken that rule a little bit. I think for Siren's Blood Curse I did, but that was really only my second review anyway. Might have broken it for New Super Mario Bros. Wii, although only by a hair. I mean, you can see the next review is Heavy Rain. I'm going to try and keep it somewhat up to date. And uh, as my housing situation gets more settled, I can maybe crank them out. To not have to worry about like a six month window. Maybe it'll be more like a one or two month window. I'm not going to be churning out a little big planet review, but I can tell you right now it was awesome. So there you go. The Cartoon Tur asks Hey, I was wondering if you're going to make another movie. If you do, you should make a zombie movie with some hardcore effects like Slayer. Also, where can I find Slayer for sale? If you make a zombie flick, I'll definitely buy it. Looks for Ridden. Um, I've had a bunch of Slayer questions, so. For those who are only hearing about Slayer for the first time in this Q&A, check out the trailer on my YouTube profile or my website. It's right there. So here's what it is. Uh, Slayer is actually the second feature film I directed uh, that I shot on a budget of about 700 bucks. My senior year in college, it was supposed to be a student film, and then the school had really nothing to do with it. So we shot it independent of the school, although still on a lot of school, you know, backwoods property. It was a very rural area in Amherst, Massachusetts. Anyway, it, uh, it was shot, shit, like five years ago, uh, but, you know, it t- post-production took forever because I had to do most of it myself. It was finished early 2007, ran the festival route that year, 
some people are a little confused about the release. Uh, it was briefly, briefly during the festival run on DVD. We only really ever sold like 30 or 40 copies before we started with distributors anyway. So, not, I mean, that didn't even cover the $700, let alone after the movie was finished. Uh, you know, festival route, DVD copies, you know, plane tickets. Movie actually racked up more debt than the budget was once it was finished, and that hasn't been paid off yet. So believe me, I'm happy to get this thing out there. It has been playing on Fios TV for, uh, I, I don't know, about a year if it's still playing there, actually. Um, I don't actually know for sure. Uh, Slayer, along with a lot of other stuff that I'm doing right now, has kind of been backlogged to my apartment bullshit was taken care of, and that has been on the verge of being fixed for about, oh, the last 11 fucking months. So now that I'm situated somewhat uh slayer is going to be on the top of my list along with a bunch of other stuff what that means is it will be available for you to see some way or another by let's say the summer not the beginning of the summer necessarily but at some point believe me it's in my best interest you know the cast and crew oh i'm sure would love their movie to get seen and you know if we can make any money off it and pay off what little debt this movie has maybe we'll see a buck off it you know by some point in the summer, it'll either be on DVD, or I can tell you where it's playing on TV, or somewhere on the internet, or, you know, hell, maybe I'll just post the whole thing on YouTube, but, you know, I gotta talk to my distributor first, I gotta get this thing sorted out, and I got, like, that's one of, like, five major things backlogged that have been waiting for my apartment crap to get handled, and I still have to go to court with my old landlord, so, you know, it's just gonna take a minute, but Slayer will be available. Uh, you can see some old reviews and interviews from 2007 when we ran the festival route, those are actually up on my website under Slayer. There was a small Slayer website. There's like a version of it still up somewhere. But eh, just watch the trailer. That's really all you need. And as far as the zombie movie stuff goes, uh, look, I've made two virtually no-budget gorilla features in my life. If I live to be 100, I will by then have made two <laughs> gorilla features in my life. I'm not saying I'm not doing any more features. I'd love to direct more features, but I'm going to have a budget. Part of why I started doing stuff like this video game reviews is I realized... You know, I didn't any money to advertise. Nobody knew who I was. I had no audience. So if I made anything for no money, there was really nobody to see it. You know, no keywords in that that really mattered. I mean, you can see keywords in the video game reviews get hits. You look over at G Money's Day I made over a year ago. It's probably one of the best things I've posted here in the last two years. Almost none of you have seen it because there's no keywords in it. And by the way, if you haven't seen it, go see it. Once I have enough recognition and I can get a budget and funding, some real sponsorships, then yeah, I'd love to do a new feature and... You know, new zombie feature? Awesome. I'd love to do I love zombies. You know? I love Romero. I love all that shit. Hell, if I had my way, I'd do a Married with Children zombie movie in canon, if you can believe it or not. Yeah, you think I'm joking. I'm fucking serious. Anyway, okay, moving on. Jude480 asks, What does Mia mean? Mia. King of Villains 24 asks, Where did you got the Mia from? Mia! The Peanut Shark asks, have you ever thought of doing Let's Plays for video games? Walkthroughs with commentary. Oh, and Got Milk. Um, not really, and, uh, only a little. I'll have to buy some when I go out later. All right, now these are pretty quick to do, so I might uh, pop up a new one very, very soon. And since a new review won't pop up for at least another 7 to 10 days, because I'm still doing moving shit, you know, my AC ain't installed, I ain't got blinds yet, you know, I'm still using the last tenant's back-end internet, because mine hasn't been set up yet, so, you know, meow. And, uh, yeah, hope to see y'all soon. Check out the Slayer trailer, check out G-Money's Day. Ed, out.